Matt, it was such an important FA Cup tie. Your team had so many chances. How hard is it to take the, the final scoreline? It's a tough one, that. You can't dominate a game of football in the way that we did and not be stood here having won a game of football. So, look, the, the margins in any game are so fine. And I thought we got a performance today from our players. I felt the energy was excellent. They pressed. They had a real verve about them in the first uh, 15, 20 minutes, I felt, with our group. And then we get that really big chance in the first half and we don't take it. And look, Marco's not had a save to make for us today. And he's picked the ball out of his net once. So I would imagine when I look back and I look at the statistics on the game, uh, the big chances, the big moments fell to us. But we've not taken them. So I've got to, I think when you, when you do this job, you come out and you own the facts and you look at what has happened. Today we got a really, really dominant performance from the players. I thought, you know, for spells in that game we were excellent. But I'm stood here now talking to you that about a loss. It's, look, the margins are fine, right? But you can't, unfortunately, uh, come away from the fact that we've missed two glorious opportunities inside their six-yard box. That wasn't the case six days ago when we were here. So that shows you just how important goals are. And I think we've spent a lot of time this season talking about goals, haven't we? And about the lack of them. Earlier in the season, it was about the fact we weren't creating chances. And now we're creating chances and not finishing them. Uh, it's just, yeah, not, uh, it's not good enough from my perspective. And I know the players feel exactly the same. Yeah, some big chances throughout for your team, including in stoppage time. A couple of so near misses. A, a day of what might have been, ultimately. Yeah, it's a day where... I think we're the better team, but we haven't won a game of football. Um, I understand how much that means to, to everybody here. I shouldn't be stood here talking to you now, feeling disappointed. I should be feeling buoyant with the performance, but I'm not because seven and a half thousand people uh, came to support us today. Our supporters, they spent their hard earned money. A lot of them would have queued for tickets. A lot of them would have been dreaming about a result and a performance today, they got the performance, they didn't get the result. So, look, I think today, when we had those big chances, those big moments, we just have to be better. So instead of, you know, slashing at things, we have to take a breath. You have to just pass the ball into the net. And that's where I think there has to be growth for us. So, look, we've spoken about it and, and said that we're desperately trying to bring goals goal scores into the building. Why? You saw today what we need. We need somebody who's ruthless in and around the opposition's box because at the moment, judging by what we've been looking at, that's the area that if we get it right, we know we're a really good team because I felt I didn't feel under any pressure stood there today. I've had many a time where I've stood on the sideline where I felt, oh, we're hanging on here. Didn't feel like that today, but uh, ultimately uh, not good enough in front of their goal. Does a manner of the, the Wrexham goal just add to the frustration as well? Notable deflection. The ball seemed to take on its way past Marco. Yeah, it did, yeah. But that was, I think, the only way that they were going to score. I think other than Elliot Lee, who had a half chance, and he put it over the bar from eight or nine yards. I don't remember Wrexham having a, a clear-cut opportunity, whereas I can stand here now and say to you that I remember we had lots of clear-cut opportunities. So if you don't score, you can't win football matches, and ultimately that's what has happened today. He turned to the bench and made five changes, including a debut for, for Roland uh, Adohu in, in such a big game as well. Happy to get him out there, get him involved for the first time. Yeah, I th where we're getting to and where we're getting back to now is competition is increasing. And we need that. We ha I haven't had the opportunity to, to do that, to make five substitutes uh, up to this point, probably for the last two months because of injuries. We're still missing key players. But gives you an opportunity to get Roland onto the pitch, Tom Bailey's coming back from an injury. Um, so yeah, it's it's just really disappointing as I stand here today, stand here right now, that we're trying to utilise the squad, but the players on the pitch have to take those moments. That's what's really annoying for me today. Great for, for Roland to make his debut. Um, we've still hopefully got 
other members that might be in and around. Uh, we hope Morgan's obviously not got a serious injury because he was, you know, he was good today. But yeah, I just felt today we didn't get what we deserved. But in life, unfortunately, you don't always get what you want. A lot of disappointment, frustration around the ground at the end, understandably with the result. But the whole occasion, seeing the the ground fall for the first time in four years here at uh, here at Crown Meadow, how was it for you? That the the atmosphere? Yeah, really good. I thought our supporters were brilliant. I actually felt that we probably owed them that performance today because of their loyalty to us. But you can't have the performance and then not come away with the result. So I'd have rather played extremely poorly and won a game of football. Uh, but yeah, I thank the supporters for coming today. I understand how frustrated they will be because bar one moment of real quality from us, which would have been in that, in and around their box, uh, I think if we'd have done that, we'd be stood here now talking about a different result. So yeah, I thank the supporters. I thought the, um, the atmosphere was excellent inside the ground. I felt that they supported the players and, st and stayed with them. And look, we're going to need that for, for each one of our um, remaining home games this season.